Teresa and today I have a fun video that is sponsored by Solo Wood Flowers. So guess what? We're going to have flowers in our projects today. I am starting off with one of these bicycle wheel from the Dollar Tree and some of these little wood pieces from Hobby Lobby that I got on 40% off, um, which makes it very affordable and I am going to do a little bit of chocolate tour on it because I need some words on this wreath I am you if you've been here for a while you know I'm not like that great of a wreath maker but this is gonna be super easy super simple and it's kind of like a little bit of a Christmassy touch without it being super super Christmas uh, especially if you are the type that aren't really into Christmas already you know sometimes a lot of people like to wait until after Thanksgiving to do their Christmas stuff. This one you could totally get away with all year round if you wanted to. So I'm going to put down this little musical bar note thing and I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Chocotor paste in the color Dune and I'm just going to go through the silk screen stencil one time, get all of the excess off, peel it and then that'll be our little background. I had thought about maybe doing like a second row of it, but I kind of decided one was enough. I'm going to let that dry 100% and then I'm going to layer on top of that after adding some of the surface wax to kind of like protect that first layer. I'm going to add and heaven and nature sing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to, of course, get that stuck down there and I'm going to go in with some of this shimmer gold. It is like the prettiest gold color. And I was like, man, I just did an order for Chocotor and I was like, I should have picked up an entire jar of this. I just have this little packet, uh, this little single size, which is great because it gives you you know, a nice little taste of the color without committing to like a full jar. But I wish I'd bought a whole jar. Anyways, I do like to run through the, um, through it a couple of times just to make sure some of that glitter kind of gets through it. And it just is perfect, 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 perfect. All right. Now I'm going to add the little bit of greenery, uh, to it. I'm kind of trying to stay in like this really pretty, like green and gold and, I don't know. This is just a fun, it's a fun color scheme uh, for Christmas time. And again, you can get away with it like all year round. And this one is shimmer spruce and it is such a pretty fun color for Christmas. So I'm just going to go through and of course add that to the greenery and then of course wipe away the excess and peel it back and whoop, it, it slipped and bam, all of our chocolate touring is done. All right. So I've got the little bicycle wheel and I'm going to paint it gold. I did uh, a coat of gold on each side and then followed it up with a little bit of clear matte on top of it just to kind of make sure it was really stuck in there. I've got this set of the Solo Wood Flowers and they have a couple of different ones that are different color schemes. This one is Garden Goddess and it comes with a bunch of fun colors. I think that these green are like I said, kind of a nod to Christmas, but not, not, they're not super green, but I love it. It's, it's still, it's weird. It's like, it's in the traditional family, but it's non, not a hundred percent traditional. I'm going to add this little bit of string here. I got that spool of like this very natural colored, um, twine. We'll call it twine. And that one I got over at burlapfabric.com. Um, if you want to check them out, I'll have them linked below. Of course, same with the chalk stuff. And of course the solo wood flowers. And I'm, oh, I did a little knot and I left it on here looking like it was going to be like hanging, even though it's not going to hang. I ended up trimming it off because I didn't like the way it looked. I thought, it might look kind of cool. Maybe not, but I, I ended up not liking it. So I do trim it off. Uh, so I do also kind of add a little bit of glue onto the back side of the knot to keep it in place. Here I am adding some of my Starbond adhesive glue and the accelerator because we all know the hot glue does not like metal. 
and then I'm going to kind of prop it up so that the glue doesn't get stuck underneath it on top of the paper. That would not be cute. And then I'm going to take some of these solo wood flowers and I'm going to start gluing them onto this form. Now the solo wood flowers are, I mean, shocking, right? They're made out of wood. They're called solo wood flowers. And they are, these ones are already dyed. I'll show you in a little bit some that I am going to use that are not dyed. So you kind of get that option. You can buy the ones that are dyed, buy the ones that are not dyed. And um, I'm adding, as you can see here, some more of the glue. I'm adding it to the back side of the flower once I've put it kind of in place. And I'm going to start adding in more and more of these flowers. The first set, of course, are dyed in this beautiful green color. And then these other ones are kind of more in like this sort of like vanilla color. That's just absolutely gorgeous. If the colors are not your thing, they have the raw ones. And these ones that I'm adding on right now have some of the bark left on them. Uh, if you've been here for a while, again, you guys know that I love, I love wood. Um, no lie, my, <laughs> my son was in the store with me one day at, I think like the hardware store and he like, mama loves wood. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you for letting everybody know that. Um, but I do. So these are absolutely perfect. You can dye them yourself as well. They sell like a uh, a little dye kit if you want, or you can actually do them with the paint too. Like if you if I wanted them to be the exact colors that I used on the little sign, I could totally do that too. Uh, I've done it in the past. It's been a while. It's been a while, but it's so much fun to dye them. I suggest doing doing them in batches. It makes it much faster, much easier. But I am gonna kind of get like a little arrangement here of the flowers. I will be the first one to admit that I am no florist. I am not the greatest at arranging them. So I'm kind of putting them in where I can see them from the front. And then I will go through and add the glue on the back side. So it makes it so much easier. And I do plan to add this over into my little shop that I sell at. And I think it's kind of perfect because if you look at it from the back side, it's not, it doesn't have a ton of messy looking stuff on the back. That's, that was my thought process, at least when I was using the Starbond glue with it. And I think they're just, they're really unique, you know, like that's, it's not a very standard, typical floral that you see a lot of. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Here's how this one turned out. You guys will have to let me know what you think as far as hanging it. Uh, typically with these kind, I like to just hang them straight on the nail. Um, uh, let me know in the comments below if you think I need to add some of the twine to as a hanger. All right, so on to the next one. I'm actually starting off with some resin. This one is some Slow Set 7 from Illuminlight. I think that's the name of the brand. And it's it's called Slow Set. It really doesn't set slow. <laughs> you have seven minutes, basically, from the time the two liquids touch each other to mix it and pour it and all of that. And that's that's could be slightly different. I feel like it was less than that. Um, I do have some, of course, some different silicone mats down just to make sure that if I get anything all over the place, I can clean it up pretty easily. But I do mix those two parts. It's a one to one ratio. And then I'm going to pour it into my IOD mold. This one is, I believe, Holly Lane. I'm going to fill all of these um, parts on this one with the exception of the really large one. Now this I did mix up a total of four ounces, so two ounces of part A, two ounces part B, and I am going to pour it in and just kind of move it around a little bit. If there's little spots, it doesn't move to. Um, I've got this listed down in my description box for you too. I am not affiliated with them, but I have like a little like referral code if you want to check it out. I think it gives me like 20 bucks um towards a purchase and it gives you guys 20 bucks towards a purchase so it's like a win-win uh this is what it looks like as it is curing my thought process here is that i'm actually just gonna kind of go through and pop it out you'll see here super easy i like to move through and kind of break the seal that it has and then pull it out uh, this sat, I believe the demold time on this one is an hour. So I let it just kind of sit for like an hour, maybe a little more. Uh, you can do less. You can actually do, you can pull it out in less than an hour. It will be a little bit more flexible. I am going to be putting it on this square, um, rectangular shaped piece of wood. That actually came from Solo Wood Flowers too. 
by the way. Uh, so they have some different things on there that you can check out too. Now I've got a couple of these, we're going to call them roses for the lack of a better word. They're just in the natural colored wood, whitish, very creamy white. I have these two that I've already attached to some of these little wire sticks um, and I'll show you how I do that. I cut one down to size. I'm going to curve it beforehand if I need to. I add a little bit of hot glue to the back side of the flower and then I'm going to trim off any little bits of string if there are any and then I'm just going to put it in where I want it to go. It is that simple, super easy and the pick itself I believe is from Hobby Lobby. I got it last year. I have seen it since this year as well so you can pick it up this year as well. Um, they just recently did 60% off on their Christmas stuff which I find to be completely wild. Uh, again though it's these flowers are really easy you can hot glue them to an item or you can you know basically give them a stem by taking the either a wire um, I don't know, a wire stem, I guess that's what you would call it, right? Or you can even do it with a wood one. But I like to add the hot glue just to give it a little bit of added security. It's totally an optional thing. I'm pretty sure you could get away without doing that. Uh, but then I'm just going to start to kind of arrange them in place. I'm adding some of the more natural ones. And then I'm also going to add some of the ones with the bark. I think that the fl the florals that you can get from there are really fun because there's some different ones. There's not just the roses. There's just non-traditional ones and just, it's a lot of fun. They are a fun flower and it's really fun that you can, you know, m kind of come up with your own colors as well. Have you noticed? I think they're fun today. <laughs> uh, so I'm adding them to this arrangement and I think that it's, like I said, a very nice little touch, kind of like a nod in the Christmas direction. Uh, they, this pick is frosted. Um, I live in Florida. I won't be seeing any frosting um, bits of frozenness for a while. It has been in like the upper mid 80s, upper and mid 80s. So I, uh, I've been, I've been swell, sweating to death. Now this one here, I wanted to kind of have it in a very particular place. So what I did is I went ahead and put it down into my floral arrangement, and then I cut the the actual little stem and added my hot glue and then put the flower on top of that. So you can kind of do it either way, whatever way works for you, whatever works best for your, you know, that arrangement you're doing. I'm going to take one of my, my resin pieces that I've already demolded and I'm going to add some of this clear, um, DIY wax to it, just using a paper towel, nothing fancy. My brush is nowhere to be found right now. And then I'm going to take the black wax and I'm going to take that just with a chip brush and go in and really try to get it into all of those crevices. I know it's not looking super crazy, like amazing right now, but trust me, it's going to. We're getting there. Uh, and I'm going to just coat it completely. Now, mind you, I didn't wipe off any of the clear wax first. I left it on, and then that's what's going to give us the ability to really pull off that black wax. And I'm just going to keep going until I get to the point where I'm pretty happy with it. You could 100% keep going or even add more clear wax onto a paper towel and pull more of the black off. I'm then going to take some of this gold wax, I believe it's called Gilded, it's Gilded something or other. It's also from DIY, Gild, uh, Golden Rule, <laughs> Golden Rule, it's just a gold wax. I add a little bit of it to the resin piece and then I'm also going to add just a tiny little touch to the high points of that vase because the vase is kind of in that black stained wood. They have a couple of different options on there too, like you can pick different stained choices. I went with the black just because it seems super classic. I'll add my hot glue onto the back of that resin piece and I'm just going to hold it on there just for a minute and it will be done. Uh, I could have added more pieces but I decided just the one seemed like it was enough. So I hope you guys like it. I think it turned out really, really nice. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Go check my links out in the description box. Of course, I will have solo wood flowers down there for you to check out. And let me know if you do, if you pick up any pieces, if you have any questions about it. I am so happy to help, of course. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you next time.